Hi, thanks for joining us today. Um, today we're going to be making this mechanical hummingbird and I'll just give you a bit of a demo on what it does. So it's using a string climbing mechanism and as you pull the strings He's flapping his wings. And what's happening is we've got two spools, two pulleys inside of his body, one with a large diameter, one with a small diameter, but they're both joined on the same axle with the same piece of string wrapped around them. And what happens when you do that is you get this mechanism where once tension is put on the string, the, um, the mechanism climbs up the string. So push out this small axle piece sand off any tabs and then find a medium sized disc we have large, medium and small so find a medium sized disc sand off any tabs it's important to sand off the tabs you don't want your string to be caught as it runs around these discs and push on to the left side of the axle as you push it on put your fingers in close as you work it down gently and push on this side rather than this side that's stronger this way with the slot running horizontal push it on until it reaches this these little tabs sticking out of the axle now take a, your large disc but the disc without the slot in it so here's the disc with the slot in it here's the large disc without the slot in it and sand off any tabs and push that on to the left as well take your one meter length of string and mark 40 centimeters from the end so there's 30 and 40 if you can't see your mark, then you can measure the string again and adjust it once it's in your pulley assembly. So this is a one meter length of string, so there should be 40 centimeters on this side and 60 centimeters on this long side. Now push out this larger disc with the slot, the extra slot in it. Sand off any tabs. And take the string so that you have the longer 60 centimeter side and push that through this little slot. Pull it all the way through until you get to your mark. So now we have 60 centimeters on the left and 40 centimeters on the right. Now you can push on this disc onto the axle from the right side right onto this center spigot and as you push it on you will end up pinching the string inside the slot as it meets the other disc if it's not exactly right you can move it backwards and forwards slightly to position it but make sure that you have your 60 centimeters on this side on the left ready to be wound around this large spool and your 40 centimeters on the right which will be uh, wrapping around the smaller spool so now take one of the small discs
sand off any tabs. And push that on to the right side. With the slot running horizontal, put your thumbs in nice and close and work it down until it meets with the other discs. Now take a medium sized disc, sand off any tabs, and push that on. And now we have our two small discs which will go on the ends. Sand off any tabs. Now depending on how loose these pieces are, you may likely need to glue uh, these end pieces on to stop this whole assembly becoming too loose and to stop these strings sliding into the cracks. So unless it's quite a nice tight fit, then I recommend gluing these side discs on with some PVA glue. Put some glue on the face and also into the slot because that's going to cause it to bond to our axle which will hold everything together. and push it on. Make sure that you haven't glued up the slot in the axle. Take your bamboo skewer and just push that in to make sure that your slot is still free and not full of glue. And you can pull it out again. And do the same with this disc. Put on some glue. Spread the glue on that face and also into the slot. Push that on. Squeeze it all together and make sure you haven't clogged up that slot where our skewer will be going later on. Just clear it out with the skewer if you need to. And make sure that's all nice and tight, no cracks. And if it seems loose then you can leave it aside to dry without touching it for 30 minutes. So let's do the bird body. Push out his sides, his head and his tail. And sand off tabs on all of those pieces. Now you can take his side, find the nice looking side, and push in his head from the not so nice looking side. And you can have the nice looking side of his head upwards. Now when you push on the tail, it's very important to realize that 
this tail is not symmetrical. This slot is slightly off to one side. So orient it so that that slot is to the left and have your bird facing forward and put the tail on so that that slot is to the bird's left. So if we put it this way, that slot will be to the bird's right, which is incorrect. So we need it this way up so that that slot is to the left of the bird and push it on and now you can push on the other side now we're going to cut his wing sticks measure a 10 centimeter mark on the stick and take your scissors and there's a special way to cut this put your scissors on the mark and apply a bit of pressure and then rotate your stick in between the blades this uh, prevents you from cracking and splitting the wood on the shaft Tidy up the edges. Measure another 10 centimeter mark on the remaining piece of stick and cut yourself another wing shaft. Sand off the edges to tidy them up. Give them a bit of a taper. That will help us to push them into the, uh, the pulley mechanism. Now take our pulley assembly. We've got our large pulley on our left, the small pulley on the right, a large 60 centimetre length of string coming out on the left and the smaller, shorter 40 centimetre length of string coming out on the right. So take this longer 60 centimetre length and turning it towards you, we're going to be wrapping anti-clockwise six times. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, more or less. And now we can take this length remaining, make sure that it's coming down the left side of our pulley, and it's going to go through the hole in the bird's tail piece. And the other piece we're going to bring underneath and up so it's also on the left side but wrapped around the smaller pulley and that's going to go up through the hole in the bird's head and this shorter piece coming up through the head So make sure that your shorter length is coming up through the head and it's wrapped just slightly under and over this um, small spool. 
and the string from the larger piece, the larger spool is coming off and down through the hole in the tail. Now we can secure that spool in place by pushing in our wing arms. They're going to be going in at a bit of an angle. Now you can tie a knot, a loop in the end of this string coming out of the bottom. Just give yourself a bit more length. Tie a loop and then around through the hole. It gives you a knot that you can, a little loop you can put your finger in. Just pull that up until your knot reaches this hole and then stop. And now we can tie a loop in the string coming out of his head. Big enough to fit a finger. Now, don't let this string get too slack or you might end up having it come off the spools and tangling. So we'll grab each end and hold it tight. And now we can test the mechanism by pulling up. So you should rise as you put tension on the strings and gravity should pull him back down and his little wing arms should be rotating. So let's give him some wings. Uh, to stop the string from tangling just bring that knot so it's at the bottom and then just tie this other string off around his beak for now. That, le that lets things remain tight so that they uh, don't get tangled and come off of their spools. You can just give it a, a twist and slip it over his beak to tie it off. So let's do his wings. Measure roughly a, a couple of 10 centimeter lengths of string. One. Push out your wings, sand off any tabs, find a nice space of your wing, that's going to be upwards, so at the moment we've got our bird on his back, so the not so nice side will be facing upwards. <laughs> Take your 10 centimeter lengths of string, put one through this hole. And with the wing resting on top of his arm, you can tie just one any knot over and under. And then do the same for the other hole. Just tie one knot on each of these strings for now. We're going to tie another one shortly to secure them. Now we don't want these knots to be too tight. We want this wing to move 
freely and rotate on the arm. So let them loosen slightly. Take a piece of sandpaper as a packer and slip that in underneath while you tie the knot. And then tie another one to secure it. And pull out your sandpaper packer. Okay, so now that's a bit looser. As we rotate the bird, the wing is not rotating with the bird. That's how we need it to be. Now let's do the other wing. So again, cut yourself two 10 centimeter lengths of string. Feed them through the holes in the wing. Rest the wing on top of the arm with the bird lying on his back. Tie a loose knot. Same with the other hole. Take your sandpaper, slip it in between the arm and the wing just to make sure it's not, the wing isn't too tight on the arm and pull these knots a bit tighter and secure it with another knot. Check that the wing is loose enough to not rotate with the bird. It looks good. You can trim off the excess string. Take what's remaining of your string and measure out roughly a couple of 15 centimeter lengths. And on the end of one of these pieces of string, we're going to tie a triple overhand knot. So go through once, through twice, and through a third time, and then pull that up so there's a knot right at the end of that string. We go through three times to make that knot large enough so it doesn't pull through the hole in the wing. Then trim off the excess. And you can push that through the hole in the wing up from the bottom of the wing, coming out of the top of the wing. Now that string is going to go through the hole on the top of his head just behind his eye and it's going to come in and then out the back so feed that out the back and now we can pull that string enough such that his wing is underneath of the wing arm and it's parallel with his tail. So we let it down a little bit. There we go. And when you've reached that position, then place your finger over there to hold that string in place. And we're going to tie it off. So we go over 
and through. And pull that knot tight. Just check that his wing's still parallel with the tail. And then you can secure it with another knot. Again, over and through. We'll just leave that length for now because we might want to adjust it later on. Take your other 15 centimeter string do the same, tie a triple overhand knot in the end. One, two, three, pull it tight, trim off the excess string, feed it up from the bottom, out the top of the wing, down through his hole behind his eye, and out the back. Fish that out with a pencil. And pull that string tight enough to bring his wing up, parallel with the other wing, which should be about parallel with his tail. So you want to tie that off, put your finger over there to Keep it in position, check that it's symmetrical with his other wing, and then tie that off. So go over and through. And again, another knot to secure it over and through. Okay, now we can trim off the excess string. And let's test our mechanism. So keep your finger on this loop. Hold on to the bird, keeping, keeping a bit of pressure so we don't loosen up the string too much. Untie his beak. Keep the tension on the string and give it a pull. And you should find that your bird has a lovely flapping motion. And you can take the, this top string and hook that over a, a nail uh, over top of your window. And then you've got a lovely hanging bird in your window. And if you have any problems with the motion, just make sure that the strings are doing the right thing inside of this spool. That they haven't come off and gone into the wrong spool. So you want the larger spool to have the string running around and out the bottom, a smaller spool to have the string running around and out the top. If you're worried about your knots coming undone, just secure them with a blob of glue. Make sure you don't glue them to the wood, but just a bit of glue on the knots. And be be gentle, be careful you don't undo the knots as you're gluing them. If you do, you can always use some more string. and give some time for that glue to dry. Congratulations! Thanks for making my hummingbird kit.